All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk to you about Hut 8 Mining, Spectacor HUT. They are a Bitcoin mining company, and they just put out their June operational update. So I want to go through that June operational update. There's some interesting info in there, as well as I want to go through their business model a little bit and talk about their ability to survive a crypto winter, potentially. So we're going to go through a bunch of stuff. If you're new to the channel or you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody would please smash the like button, I would appreciate that. It helps the channel out a lot. Okay, let's talk about Hut 8. At this point in the day, they're trading at $1.39, down about 6% on the day. So all the Bitcoin miners are having a little bit of a red day, although Bitcoin is basically sideways. Yesterday, the Bitcoin miners had a gigantic up day while Bitcoin was sideways. So that leaves Hut 8 at a $243 million market cap. I'm just going to go to their financial statements for a minute because I just want to put that in perspective. Their total shareholders equity is $650 million. So their book value is $650 million. While if we look at their market cap, it's $243 million. Now those were the March 31st financial statements, but we will soon get the June 30th. And I imagine that number has not changed very much. Okay. So, so with that in mind, let's look at the June operational update. Hot 8 mining production and operations update for June, 2022. Three 328 Bitcoin mined, bringing reserves to 7,406. Hut 8 continues to hold Bitcoin. North Bay site operating at 20 megawatts of power. So they have 7,406 Bitcoin and they have not borrowed any money against them. They are no longer loaning any out for interest. They are all in their own custody with no, and they're not securing any loans at all. So that puts them in a very good place. I know that almost every single Bitcoin mining company has abandoned the HODL strategy although most of them for the last year and a half were holding some portion of their Bitcoin, if not all of their Bitcoin. Recently, some of the bigger companies have had to get rid of sizable chunks of their Bitcoin. So Hut8 has taken a different approach. They've always planned to continue to hold. They don't want to sell their Bitcoin at this point at or near its lows. So they continue to put Bitcoin in reserve. Okay, production highlights for June 2022. 328 Bitcoin were mined, resulting in an average production rate of 10.9 Bitcoin per day. So as you guys know, I like to compare month over month. I think that's the most meaningful comparison because this is a high growth industry. And I will tell you over the last few months with Bitcoin going down so much in price, a lot of these companies have been going sideways on the amount of Bitcoin they produce. And many of them actually have had a reduction in the amount of Bitcoin they've produced. So let's take a look and see what Hut8 did. So they did 328 in June. So if I go back to Hut8's mining operation update, this was put out June 6th. This is their May operation update. They did 309 Bitcoin in May. So that was 10 Bitcoin per day. They are now at 10.9 Bitcoin per day, as you'll see right here. So that's an increase of almost 10%. So this was a strong month performance wise for them. Okay. 100% of the self-mined Bitcoin in June was deposited into custody consistent with our long-standing HODL strategy. Total Bitcoin balance held in reserve was 7,406 as of June 30th, 2022. They may once again have the most Bitcoin on their balance sheet self-mined of any of the publicly traded Bitcoin mining companies. I believe so. Drop in the comments if you know of one that has more than this self-mined. I know Marathon maintains more Bitcoin. However, they did buy somewhere over 4,000 of those in January of 2021. Core Scientific had raced ahead of them. However, over the last two months, they've sold almost 10,000 Bitcoin. And Riot, about three or four months ago, switched to a hybrid of totaling and spending some of the Bitcoin that they produce. So, so I believe we're down to just Hot 8 and Marathon, which are still in 100% hodling position. And one of the reasons for that are those two companies each have an extremely strong balance sheet. And so they have the cash and the ability, the liquidity to continue to do this. So whether you agree with holding all your Bitcoin or disagree, I think we can all agree that Bitcoin that was mined at $60,000, this would not be good timing to turn around and sell it six months later at $20,000. So there may come a point in time where Hut 8 decides to start selling some of their Bitcoin. But if that time comes, it just doesn't make any sense unless they're forced to. It doesn't make any sense to do this when Bitcoin is in a bear market slash potential crypto winter. So it looks like for now, they're going to keep holding their Bitcoin. Installed operating capacity was 2.78 exahash at the end of the month. Okay, so let's take a look at the previous month. So they were 2.64 at the end of the previous month. They're 2.78 
at the end of this month. However, I'm gonna show you there's some math missing in the middle. So there is a question mark. Okay, additional updates. Production at our new North Bay site scaled up throughout the month with approximately 5,800 miners operating at 20 megawatts of power by June 30th. So that was their goal. There's more to come at North Bay. They wanted to finish up this first 20 megawatts and get miners online. And it looks like they got 5,800 miners online. So that's where I'm saying the math is a little fuzzy. They were at 2.6 for exahash, they added 5,800 of the latest and greatest miners. That's a lot more than the 0.14 exahash that was added during the month. I don't want to guess, but two possible options are they replaced some of their older, less efficient machines with these new machines. So, so in that instance, their price per Bitcoin would go down. Maybe they're holding those machines for when Bitcoin gets back to a higher, more profitable price. I'm not sure, but it does look like they put a lot of machines online. And just from the missing math, it looks like some of the machines machines right now, they did take offline. So I would be interested to get maybe Sue back on the channel and talk to them and see what they did with these other machines and what their plan is going forward. Okay, additional scaling will continue at North Bay in the coming weeks. Lastly, our high performance computing business, which is not correlated to Bitcoin or Bitcoin mining. So that's an important part for them. This is a separate business that they have started. They bought a business and they're growing that business now. It is a cash flow positive business. So so this helps pay the bills and it has nothing to do with Bitcoin. So it's not impacted by this massive decrease in the price of Bitcoin over the last several months. So they're saying that continues to bring in steady monthly reoccurring revenue and remains on track to grow up to 18% by the end of 2022. That's a big piece of their puzzle they added. It looks like they're growing maybe at about an 18% rate. This will be a portion of what they do going forward. You're going to see they're going to be a more integrated company. They're still a Bitcoin mining company first. Every time I've talked to them, they've reiterated that and when we look at their plans you'll see they plan on continuing to grow as a Bitcoin mining company however there is an awful lot in this field with a high computing data center there's a lot of activity that they can add to what they're doing okay I want to just take a quick look at their June presentation here they say 2.64 exahash we know they're now at 2.78 exahash but what I wanted to show you is they have a by the numbers section here. They're projected exahash for mid 2022. So it is the middle of 2022 right now. So we will see if they get to this in the next one or two months. I know this number represents the amount of machines that they already have committed to, purchase ordered, put deposits on, and they may already have most or all of these machines. So that would be 3.55 exahash. And then they still maintain their projection for the end of the year at six exahash. So we'll have to see how that goes. Obviously, Bitcoin cascading down to $20,000 may change this equation for them, but this was their target as of their June presentation. So we'll have to see if that's changed. I know that Jamie had mentioned on the conference call that she was still looking to get to 6x a hash, and she thought future opportunities for cheaper machines were still ahead, that the price of machines had gone down dramatically, and she did not think we were at the bottom yet. So they are looking for opportunities, and I think they will strike when they find them. Just a quick look at their balance sheet because I want to talk about how these guys are very strong from a balance sheet standpoint and and this is why they're set up to hold their Bitcoin and and make it through a crypto winter in my opinion obviously this is not financial advice I can't guarantee you that these guys are going to make it through whatever market we're in right now right only time will tell but what I am saying is their balance sheet is very strong and they're set up in a good way to withstand any potential long-term downward pressure on the price of Bitcoin so I just specifically want to look at their current assets which is four hundred and fifty three million dollars versus their current liabilities which is twenty two million dollars so that's over a twenty to one current ratio so that is extremely extremely strong now a lot of this is digital assets so that will have devalued but even if this is now fifteen to one that is still extremely strong and it leaves them in a good position from a liquidity standpoint and that is the key to surviving a crypto winter okay so just a quick look at their chart you'll see they're trading for a dollar forty right now that's down six percent on the day and the day is not quite over yet so they may finish somewhere plus or minus of that but you'll see this is very near their 52 week low and in fact their 18 month low and and that was hit yesterday at a dollar 27 so most of the downward pressure in the price of hut 8 is just really the market pressure in general the market pressure on this industry in specific which is down somewhere around 92 percent when you measure each company from their 18 month high so even if we just go from march 28th now bitcoin was trading 
trading at $48,000 at that time. That was a little run up that Bitcoin had back in March. So, you know, that was about three months ago, a little over three months ago. hot eight's down almost 80%. So their stock price is down almost 80% from March 28th to today, July 6th. So this is a massive pullback, but again, it's very consistent with all the other Bitcoin miners. This is pretty much what's happening in this space. So I'm just gonna give one potential price target. And this just goes back one month. This goes back to May 31st or slash June 1st. So if they were trading at about $2.85, so just under $3. If they could get back to that point at some time in the next 30, 60, 90 days, even if we have just a little bit of a relief rally here in Bitcoin, that would be a 103% increase in the price of this stock. So I don't know that that's gonna happen. You know, we have to see where Bitcoin is gonna go. It's, it's really at a moment here where we may go down and test some more lows. We may be finding a bottom right now. It's, it's very hard to say. So obviously, again, not financial advice. These guys are down 80% in the last three months. This along with all the other Bitcoin mining stocks are extremely volatile. So please be careful. Do your own due diligence when investing. But this is one price target that I do have in mind in the event of even just really a relief rally. Okay, so that's all I got for you on Hut 8 today. If you made it this far in the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Also, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.